Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the discovery of a new planet in the Milky Way's fluffiest system. In 2012, it was found that Kepler-52, the sun-like yellow dwarf star, has three exoplanets in its orbit. Each of those exoplanets turned out to be with a density higher than cotton candy. This led to putting them in a category called Superpuff World. Now reports came that scientists have found a fourth one in the category. Jessica Libby Roberts, a planetary scientist at Pennsylvania State University, said in a statement, Superpuff planets are fairly rare, and when they do occur, they tend to be the only one in a planetary system. She further reported, adding, if trying to explain how three superpuffs formed in one system wasn't challenging enough, now we have to explain a fourth planet, whether it's a superpuff or not, and we can't rule out additional planets in the system either. It was 2019 when the strange nature of the three exoplanets orbiting Kepler-51 was established and observations were made by astronomers to create measurements of the radii and masses of the exoplanets. The acquired measurements were used to calculate their densities, which were found to be less than 0.1 grams per cubic centimeter. When a team of astronomers co-led by Libby Roberts and Kento Masuda of Osaka University set out to catch one of the discovered exoplanets, they found that there might be more exoplanets than do not get caught in the eyes. The team then further poured out data on transit timings obtained by NASA's Planet Hunting Telescope, TESS, and observations from several ground-based telescopes as well. After they carefully went back to their data to ensure no errors were made, the conclusion said there was an unseen exoplanet. The newly found fourth exoplanet will be named Kepler-51e, as the other previous found were named Kepler-51b, Kepler-51c, and Kepler-51d. Masuza explained, We conducted what is called a brute force search, testing out many different combinations of planet properties to find the four-planet model that explains all of the transit data gathered over the past 14 years. She further said, We found that the signal is best explained if Kepler 51e has a mass similar to the other three planets and follows a fairly circular orbit of about 264 days, something we would expect based on other planetary systems. Other possible solutions we found involve a more massive planet on a wider orbit, though we think these are less likely. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.